I request Dras, uh, Commander Nair, to ask some questions from the Dras side. Yes, thank you. Good evening, Sri Manohatra, sir. Wonderful to meet you, Commander. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I have been waiting for a long time for this opportunity. Thank you very much for giving us your time, sir. I will quickly uh, take uh, the two questions I have. I have many questions, but I will shorten them to two. Uh, one is, both of them have related to AI. One is about Elon Musk and his uh, disruptive technologies. So you have not mentioned anything about it in your book. Uh, but though I may sound a bit, uh, a bit of a fantasy, I think he is making transformers. Don't you think so, sir? So are you talking about BMI, the brain implant? Yes, that is one. Then the retrievable rockets and then yeah. the so, cyber trucks and the, all so, those things. So I mentioned the BMI in my yes. in, uh, in uh, chapter five. I mentioned this. Uh, yes. So for people who don't know, there are many breakthroughs coming, uh, which will produce products between 2025 and 2030. These products will come. Yes. Uh, brain implants. Uh, are are now the artificial intelligence is measuring these implants are able to measure the neural burst of the the how the neurons burst uh, when you have a thought uh, when you have a euphoric thought a fearful thought an angry thought a negative thought you know depending on the qui kind of thought what is the burst of neurons because it's so complicated you cannot decipher it manually so the ai system is being used for that and they're recording what is the burst for uh, you know one person what is the burst in rajiv's case what is the burst in somebody else's case because while there are generic patterns it's also very personalized each person brain is very unique so ai system does that and then the AI system can figure out by measuring whether, what you are th whether you're in a good mood, bad mood, all that stuff. And AI can also change your mood because it can play a happy burst. It can play the burst which will be happy for you or sad for you or not so angry for you. Or if you're suicidal, turn it into a happy thought rather than let you commit suicide. If you're about to get angry, it can figure it out. So all this mind control, mood control can be used medically for depression, for suicide. Uh, for people with bipolar, for military people with post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. That is what can be used for the military. Pentagon is also doing this research. And so under this pretext, they'll get FDA approval. These things will be medically important. The moment these things are medically certified, then you know they'll also, the next wave will be entertainment. They will also be possible that you can have a fantasy. You can fantasize something. They'll give you that kind of experience through these implants. And these implants don't need wire. They are wireless. So you can also control them with whether it's a remote, whether or whether it is somebody sitting somewhere else who hacks you, who hack your brain. So we are, we are headed for an amazing uh, you know, new frontier where humans augmented with AI, artificially augmented humans, with implants, will be able to do different things. Uh, just uh, recently, uh, military, U.S. military, uh, in a in a disclosed something. I've tracked it for a couple of years, but they disclosed something to the TV show 60 Minutes that they have now developed a very tiny implant. It is like a one two millimeters uh, in under the skin, which is continuously, perpetually uh, doing blood tests. A lot of complicated, it's looking for certain patterns and transmitting to a patch outside your body or to your phone or to some device, uh, any anything warning that you need to know. So they're going to, the military is going to put it in soldiers so that uh, they can they can know before, before uh, something happens that this is an early warning, uh, you know, that this soldier needs to, uh, needs rest or needs medical care. So this will improve the health of soldiers. So you can imagine the, future of implants, whether it is blood, whether it is neuron, neuron. Uh, initially, the technology will be augmented. It will be wearables outside the skin, wearables in your gloves, wearables, uh, uh, augmented reality here. So it's so going from a laptop and a handheld smartphone uh, apps to the apps that are wearables and, you know, augmented uh, wearables. Then next level is apps inside your body. So that is happening. That disruption I've talked about, I did, I did not go into the details because you know it's already a large book and I want to write other books in the future. Now, as far as space is concerned, the reusability 
of uh, sp- uh, space vehicles is something that isro should be worried about because you know the economics of space is going to change in such a fundamental way that uh, while isro did a lot in terms of uh, a certain genre a certain platform of technology did very well uh, now the technology is changing uh, uh, this virgin galactica is going to start space tourism i actually have bought a seat on virgin galactica uh, when they started they selling seats Uh, for future uh, civilians to fly and so i i got myself one of those seats early they've closed now but uh, uh, there's a waiting list of people who've uh, registered and i'm uh, uh, and got themselves a seat so in the next 2 uh, 3 years when they start uh, commercial flights uh, then you know they will start taking batches of people into space so there is going to be a whole tourism industry which will give them the money uh, they, to do more research so uh, whether it's elon musk or a few others like that there are two three major companies doing this uh, commercial space that's a very big uh, disruptive technology so i am into this in a big way uh, uh, also i'm con- think i'm looking at how to use disruptive technology in india for india and you know the the interesting thing is that venture capitalists only want what will make money in 3 to 5 years they're not looking for a 5 to 10 year horizon that's strange and the ministry of culture education ministry ministry of science technology all these places they're not really uh, into all that so uh, india does not have a whole lot of uh, uh, interest right now in technologies which are you know not current generation that will give you return by 2025 but the next generation that will be from 2025 to 2035 that that period and 2025 to 2035 will be a whole lot different than the period between now and 2025 which is also going to be very different so if you it depends on how futuristic you want to get uh, the disrupt the, the united states uh, is leading the world again in the futurist disruptive technologies and lots of them thank you thank you very much sir for that elaborate answer one final question sir it is a, actually an initiative which we have begun i would like your opinion on that i have talked about algorithms and how it changes the uh, actual thinking of the people uh, we have uh, started an initiative to develop our own algorithm using nyaya shastra uh, one of uh, a very i we thought it was good because it has got very excellent classification and uh, Uh, of uh, ideas and how things should be shown and seen and heard uh, like your opinion on that sir thank you sir i would love to have you send me that i will take yes. the time and read it i have been reading similar things for quite a while and uh, doing my own thinking uh, and connected with a small number of people very quietly very privately uh, sharing my thoughts with them uh, if you have a group which is doing this i would love to get your uh, send me a, a private email uh, uh, you know your organizers here have my private email id so send me a private email uh, and make sure you remind me that this is a follow up to our conversation because i get a lot of emails i can't uh, read all of them but i get i want to read this one if you send me an email with what your thoughts are where what your uh, developments are in this area i would love to give you my feedback my evaluation uh we can have a phone call this is a topic very dear to me uh, i'm looking at uh uh you know ideas from uh, sankhya uh, for for ai uh, because uh, sankhya has got a lot of theories of mind and and uh, uh right now the mind sciences that are being used for ai are western neuroscience models of mind uh, which is a very materialistic model of mind uh so but also there is a lot written by sri aurobindo in his ideas of consciousness and a whole lot in shaivism uh, that is about uh, the nature of consciousness i i think this is not the, uh, that such a huge topic it needs its own discussion if you are interested let's have a discussion just on that i would love it yes. but i am thinking i i have a lot to say on that uh, which so, some of it i don't want to disclose publicly but people who are very interested i certainly want to talk to them about it Uh, i don't want to disclose it publicly for the simple reason that i've had a bad experience there's a lot of people 
who are going around giving a quick uh, video here and make a, a tamasha show in some youtube and here write a blog and all that i don't want to trivialize this knowledge uh, with the people who don't really aren't really deeply involved in it uh, but just want to get um, some mileage and show off i don't want to do that so i want to keep it under wraps work with only a few people until this thing is ready and then we can announce in a big way so if you would like to participate in that or you have some ideas or some people uh, i would absolutely love to hear from you yes sir thank you very much sir i'll certainly uh, email you through the organization uh, we do have some ideas which are still in the breaking stages but i will communicate with you so that we can we will value your advice on that thank you very much yes and uh, you know we uh, I, people who are creative thinking out of the box i want to nurture them i i my foundation uh, has is in the past given substantial support to uh, people doing pioneering work and then i took it to the ministry of science and culture ministry and education hrd ministry expecting they'll help me but they talked talked and talked and made me go around here there and i got sick and tired of it so uh, i'm now back in a mode where i'm uh, developing these with with some smart people and uh, uh, then we'll take it forward we'll take it forward once we are absolutely ready uh, then we can take it forward नास्ति विद्या समम चक्षु नास्ति सत्य समम तपः नास्ति राग समम दुखम नास्ति त्याग समम सुखम नॉलेज इज द ग्रेटेस्ट आई ट्रूथ इज द हाईएस्ट पेनेंस अटैचमेंट इज द बिगेस्ट पेन प्रोनंसिएशन इज द हाईएस्ट हैप्पीनेस ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ डिफेंस रिसर्च एंड स्टडीज आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक आवर सीनियर एडवाइजर मिस्टर राजीव मल्होत्रा फॉर स्पेंडिंग टाइम विद अस एंड एनलाइटन अस ऑन हिज न्यू बुक वी डिफेंस फ्रेटर्निटी आर एक्सट्रीमली थैंकफुल टू यू to deliberate the impact on military as the advent of ai it was an amazing experience to hear you talk some crucial points and facts which we think all indians must be aware of and special thanks to group captain p naidu for being an exemplary host as this discussion culminates we want to thank infinity foundation who made this initiative possible today thank you so much everyone thank you for inviting me namaste to everybody all the viewers uh you are a great organization uh, let's work together uh, i i was planning on coming but because of covid spike uh, they advised me to delay uh, but i will come later on uh, it's a matter of time i will come and i want uh, us to be doing some other important things also uh, research wise uh, and also let's have some conferences uh, let's produce some uh, good provocative reports uh, and and uh, you know really make it Uh, difficult for people to ignore all this uh, we have to make it we have to make our views non ignorable yes. that's uh, so people have to think and that's all our job is to make people think because india is a smart country intelligent people and once you wake them up and you, and the people start thinking for themselves lots of solutions will come thank you very much thank you